I'm Brooks Headley, I'm the pastry chef at Del Posto in Manhattan. I kind of approach cooking and food the same way that I would approach like being in a, in a punk band, the way that I would figure out drum parts to like Born Again song or a Wrangler Bird song. For cooking it's the same way, like I'm not inventing new techniques or anything, but I feel like I'm sort of taking from different styles of food, like really, really simple stuff, like almost like stupid stuff, but, and that's like, that's that's good. I mean, it's like a that's like a good punk song. Like it should be stupid and it should be direct and it should just be like almost like the. I'm here with uh, Michael Lasconis, uh, pastry chef from La Bernadette, and we are headed to Williamsburg to go to Sal's Pizza, my favorite pizza place in the world. I actually think I, I met you as a pastry chef first, right? Yeah, yeah. And then totally. years later realized we had this sort of uh, common interest in punk rock underground music scene and realized probably 20 years ago there's a good chance we're in the same room. Working in a kitchen is, is kind of like being on tour, but being on tour your whole life, you know? Because you're, it's just like, it's something that completely controls everything that you do. When I think of like pizza in New York, I think of like this place. So can we get a, uh, a grandma to go? I lived basically around the corner from Sal's for the first like four years that I lived in New York. So it became like my spot. Like it was like comfort food and super old school, like real you know, New York City pizza. Last time I was at Del Posto, I actually was sent home with a, a pizza. Oh yeah. But it was a, a dessert pizza. But he, he sent it out in a pizza box uh, as we were leaving, so that was pretty hot. Yeah, any, anytime I can get pizza in there, like. But I actually went to the place around the corner and I was like, hey, I want to buy one pizza box. And the guy's like, what are you talking about? I find a lot of inspiration in, uh, in pizza in general. Whenever I can compare it, or when I find that like comparison in my head and it like kind of works out on, on the plate at Del Posto, like I just it just cracks me up because I'm like, oh this yeah, this is this this is pizza. Yeah. Sometimes it drives me a little crazy that like pastry chefs or people that make desserts, they're sort of like have blinders on and they're only thinking about sugar or specific like cakes or cookies or something. For me, the the thing that I'd want to do is is you know cook a bunch of vegetables. So you're still thinking in terms of like different flavor sweet and salty and bitter and sour just to sort of like highlight the, the product and that's like such an Italian thing to do. Awesome. Across the ceiling, regular pizza, you got plates. Great, thanks man. All right, have a nice day. Yeah. Have a nice day. So we, uh, we got some pizza and now we're going over to uh, the Momofuku Milk Bar Bakery Complex Airplane Hangar spot. Yeah, yeah, they, um, uh, Christina Tosi, who is the sort of master dessert pastry person for all of the Momofuku restaurants and is one of my favorite people. She's hilarious. Has a commissary basically in Williamsburg where they make everything for all the all the all the different restaurants and all their mail order and stuff. Her crack pie became like world famous, which is awesome, and hilarious, and totally cool. Oh come on, give me uh, the rest of the tour. It's my pride and joy. They named her Beyonce and painted her gold. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. 
Did you not have a sheeter before? No, we were like rolling everything by hand. We were like making all these croissants at one point with like compound butter, and it was just getting to the point that I was just like, no one's ever gonna roll fast enough, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah, so this is our office. Yeah. These are uh, toasty stones. Dog, dogs in the kitchen, is that a violation? Uh, we don't let them I'm clear. That's why they're only ever lived in the office. Are you guys going anywhere after this? Uh, yeah, we're going back to Del Posto. No, 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 you're, you're, you're gonna, you're gonna sit down and relax. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make, I'm gonna put on, I'm gonna put on the paper hat. Well, basically at that point, like we had, uh, you know, we, we went and got some pizza. We got the, we got the grandma slice. Hung out with the ladies at, at the, at Milk Bar, and then. The only responsible thing to do at that point would be to go back to Del Posto and eat some vegetables. Yeah, I just wanted to like invite some uh, people that I know through, some through food and some through music. Um, who was there? Um, Rick was there, Amelia was there, um, Aaron was there, um, Tony was there. That I knew would appreciate like eating a bunch of vegetables. So there's, uh, there's, there's plenty to drink out there if anybody needs anything, so. Yeah. Are there painkillers? Because I'm... The, probably <laughs> behind you. <laughs> and then I booked shows at a place, UOA, and ended up playing at like a year after I stopped. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Well, I was in UOA. Uh, was against, I'm a guitar player. Oh, okay. Yeah. Awesome. Nice to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we geek out over both uh, pastry and pop rock, I guess. So listen, you guys, I'm going to go uh, make us some vegetables, all right? All right. Ooh, yeah. Good. They better, yeah, really? Yeah. All right. <laughs> to me, like, vegetables are, are totally sacred. When I was in bands, like, you know, 15 years ago, that's all we did was, like, talk about and think about, like, vegetarian food and, and veganism or whatever. So this is um, a... Uh, Butternut squash and apple salad, and then this is just this is just ricotta with uh, salt and pepper, olive oil, roasted cauliflower with um, olives and capers. It's a total Mark Ladner classic. Uh, chickpeas and leeks, basically, um, and the leeks are like sweated down, so they're totally sweet. So. Um... <laughs> are you saying we're ready? Uh, I think so. Yeah. So this is a uh, agnolotti with a, a lambrusco sauce. Spec, it's got meat in it, so I made you a special one: uh, pasta with butter <laughs> for the babies. <laughs> Really not any no, you're gonna get some dessert. <laughs> Obviously, the pastry chef has to make some sort of dessert, right? Um, I mean, I'm I'm sort of a contrarian, deep to the core. So like, I had no desire to like kind of showboat and like make a bunch of like desserts. Like, oh, look at me! Look at look look at what I can do! Look at this is great! Look at this! This is great! So I made obviously the most sort of simple, almost silly Italian dessert, which is tiramisu. The first, first place I ever worked, we made individual ones, and then we would put a candle in that, but it had cocoa powder on top, so like, when people would blow out the candle, like... <laughs> I am full on 100% a restaurant pastry chef. And even more specifically than that, Del Posto. Like, you, if you dumped me in another kitchen in Manhattan um, at another three or four star restaurant, like, I'd probably get fired because I exist specifically to do one specific style of, of food. Complicated doesn't necessarily equal delicious, you know. To uh, a bunch of fucking vegetables. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Thank you, bro. Thank you. Thank you very much. Bro. This is your welcome. Thank you.